Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly of lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some books, beauty, stationery, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. I hope you are all doing well, staying safe, happy, and healthy. I know that in this time, it can be really difficult to find some brightness, so that's what I'm hoping that my videos are doing for you. I know that sometimes it seems like the unboxing world is really just all about materialism and consumerism but like I said I do hope that it is bringing a little bit of joy a little bit of like calm or peace or relaxation into your daily life and perhaps even helping you decide which boxes you might like to invite into your own home especially when we are spending so much time at home these days today I've got a new box for you though for this channel it's a brand new subscription this is probably the first time where I've actually been part of the first box from any company and it is called Called the happy glamper so that kind of speaks to me I live in a very like outdoorsy city people are always going on hikes and they really love that outdoorsy life um, I'm kind of in between I really appreciate nature I like hiking but when it comes to like being in the wilderness and having to go to the bathroom in the woods and not having all of the conveniences of daily life I can get over it after a couple of days so I'm definitely more of a glamper if I have the opportunity to have a hot shower at the end of the day, I'm a much happier camper. So let's see what we've got inside this box. I will say that this box is a little bit pricey for a monthly subscription. It is, let me see, it was $49 per month, but then an additional $8 in shipping. So that is a little bit above my personal budget. If you've been watching for a while, you know I try to keep my monthly subscriptions between $30 and $40 per month. You can definitely get a little bit of a discount if you subscribe for more months but since this was their first box I wanted to see what it was like see if the value was in there and then hopefully you guys can help me decide if I should continue with the happy glamper so fun turquoise box you can't quite see it but it's got some mountains but then kind of a fun like chandelier above it so that speaks to that idea of glamping right you don't have to give up all of uh, all of the luxuries and then inside, we've just got, they've done a lot with their marketing. I've definitely seen a lot of photo shoots and stuff. Um, the social media like kind of comes in fits and starts, like there was some spoilers and then like we didn't hear like a ton, but I know that it's probably just because they're really, really busy starting off. But like this is a great uh, image with the founder and everybody's like glamping in this like very like boho chic, you know, definitely glamping kind of look, um, very like Joshua Tree, very Pinterest, very um, fancy Airbnb. It says time to travel. I guess maybe that's the theme, but I guess it would always kind of be the theme for a glamping box. March 2020, and they're calling this the Founders Box. It does have all of the items on the back. There are no retail values that I can see, which is a bummer because I do really like retail values, especially with these smaller subscription companies. I'm not expecting like five times the value or even three times the value but I do want to feel like I am getting a little bit of a discount on the items if I were to purchase them myself just because usually there's going to be some items that are a hit with you and some items that are a little bit of a miss so you want to feel like it's at least giving you the value of what you've already paid. I will say that they did include on here one of the items is an Airbnb discount, which is probably only good if you've never used Airbnb. So that $40 off my first trip, I wouldn't even be able to use that. I don't think that should really count as an item. And also just because this company is probably getting credits for every referral. Intense foozles in really fun colors though. Uh, yellow, blue, and, and pink. Um, but it looks like I can just move that top layer off. So let's see what we've got inside. The first thing is very, very hefty and it is branded with the Happy Glamper. It's one of those little like, I always call them like ham cans. So this is the Happy Glamper Ornament, a sustainable artistic creation made exclusively for the Happy Glamper by BE Creations, a husband and wife team in Northwest Georgia. Like I said, it's pretty hefty. Um, they live in a rural barn studio in Pine Log, Georgia, located at the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. It comes on this like twine thing. You would have to have a pretty um, good branch on your tree 
to uh, hang this, but it's kind of fun because the light will shine through it. It's kind of funny to me that we've got it uh, this time of year since it's way, way off before Christmas, but I guess they're just meaning you can use it as an ornament at any time. It's a little sharp too, so, so be careful. Um, but that would be like one of those things where I can probably look up the retail value, but it would have been nice if they had just included it. And then this is great and very, very timely. This is a sanitizing mist from doTERRA. It's just called On Guard. So as you know, doTERRA is one of those essential oil companies. This says On Guard Protective Blend kills 99.9% .9 of germs and bacteria. This travel size necessity provides a citrus spice aroma and is infused with moisturizing apple extract. So that is great. I've gotten a couple of hand sanitizers in a couple of boxes this month and it's funny because I wonder if they had any idea that everything that's going on would be going on but I'm very thankful to have that and it is always great to have it be something small. So this is cute. It looks like it would have been maybe a little bit better for uh February, but it is a little wish bracelet. It's got a gray cord and a tiny silver heart. And so these wish bracelets, they're kind of fun. It looks like this is kind of adjustable. I usually actually tie knots on each end so that there's no hanging strings, um, but usually that's pretty easy. The idea with a wish bracelet is that you just wear it and you wear it all the time, like in the shower. It's not like the most sanitary thing to be wearing it all the time, but you make a wish and then when that bracelet finally falls off, you like let it go. Um, it says wherever you go, go with all your heart. We're feeling this quote in our soul and hope it resonates with you. This was handmade in Florida. They spelled in with two eyes, so little uh, little typo there. I'm I'm such a I'm so bad. It's like the editor in me just is constantly like picking out all of those little typos. So I apologize to all subscription box companies when I call you out on those things. This is something that was in the spoilers. This is a packing list. So I actually do a lot of travel, not these days, but I do a lot of travel and I always make a packing list. It just makes the whole packing process a lot easier. Um, this is kind of useful. It's got a section for basics, which has things like travel aids, funds, uh, passport, all that kind of stuff. Miscellaneous, it's like your documents, bags, laundry, miscellaneous contacts, technology, work, clothes. It's got your basics, so like underwear, socks, undershirts. It has a space to write the quantity that you're going to bring, as well as a little space to check things off. And then of course we've got a whole bar at the bottom, which is for hygiene. So that's all of your like toiletries and essentials and maybe makeup. So this classic pad, see if it says how many sheets there are. It says more than 59 sheets, so I'm guessing that means there's 60 sheets. Why didn't they just say 60 sheets? It says this remedy for pre-trip chaos is here, an exhaustive checklist of everything you could ever need on a trip. So that's good. I mean, you would have to kind of go through it first and like um, check things off. I like to make my own list that then I keep on my computer and I'll just cut and paste if they're like a similar kind of trip, then part of the work is already done for me in terms of the items that I need to bring. But I also like to write out my itinerary so I know what's going on on each day. And that way I can kind of organize like my outfits and my accessories and the different like things that I'll need in terms of like bags or shoes. Um, so this is helpful if you don't already have a practice of making packing lists. Um, this is probably something I'll pass on to someone else in a giveaway because I already kind of have my own system but it's a thoughtful thing with a travel themed subscription box so next item I am seeing like it's not a huge value though in my personal opinion and remember we did pay $50 plus shipping for this box so we're looking for at least $50 in value if not more here is a little luggage tag. Now this is funny. So it is in a beautiful aqua and leather. And then you can see that it is imprinted with and so and so the adventure begins. And then on the back, it's just got that card that you can take out once you take the buckle off. Sorry, there's a foozle stuck in there. Now this is funny to me because I know pretty much the value of these, especially if you buy them in bulk because this was my wedding favor. So I got luggage tags printed. Um, they actually had a pineapple on them because pineapples were sort of the unofficial emblem of my wedding. We got them in a really pretty like buckskin neutral color. Almost exactly the same though in terms of the stitching and the little insert card uh, and I think even though I was only ordering like maybe a hundred of them I got them down to like three bucks a piece so it's nice I have a lot of luggage tags um, 
I like that it says, and so the adventure begins, although that's often one of the uh, pre-printed sayings that comes on these tags, so it's not even like really customized. And um, I will also say, because it kind of works for weddings too, right, to say, and so the adventure begins, and it works really well for destination weddings, so just a heads up, I think that's a fun, I actually use them as like the um, table cards too, so like these were all hanging from a tree, and you would get this, and then on the little thing it said which table you were at, so I thought I was being pretty pretty inventive with that let's see what it says about this little luggage tag genuine leather in our favorite teal color embossed in gold foil handmade in Florida all right so we've got that we've got definitely a travel theme and then the next kind of the the main item in this box which I was excited about, uh, even though I do have similar items, was this Compression Travel Cube set of three, just because they're so pretty. So there's three different sizes. I love packing cubes. I'm still a big fan of Rick Steves because they are mesh, so they don't take up a lot of space, and you can also see all of your items inside. Um, I also got some packing cubes like from Cosbox, and then I have some other like ones that I've just gotten like from Amazon. But so far, the original ones that I got from Rick Steves are still always my favorite. But I just thought these were fun because they were pretty and they looked a little bit more like camping and outdoorsy. So like I said, you can see them in these three different colors. This one has this sort of like image of like a sunset or a sunrise, you decide. And then this one is a little bit more mountainous. And then this one is also mountainous, so you can kind of see it's almost that like ripstop material, very, very lightweight, which I like. But then you can see that it doesn't have like um, a height to it, they're very flat. So you wouldn't be able to like fold things and have it take up this full area. You'd have to make things a little bit smaller so that there's room for some height to actually stack things. They've got these nice um, handles here and I like that the zippers, you can actually see they kind of like go double. So, oh, actually maybe they do open up. So I'm gonna open up the zipper and see if they do expand a little bit. So it looks like they do actually have that expansion space, so a couple inches of height. And then I guess that's why it's a compression one because then you zip that close and it keeps everything nice and tight. This one also, so it has like this, this front pocket that you can get into it. There's two separate zippers with this really dark like eggplant color inside. And then it's just like a expandable suitcase, right? So you can open up that sort of like, like gusset on the side so you can get a little bit more space in there and then you can zip that up and really like press all of the air out of it. It says, we're obsessed with these cubes from Well Traveled out of Boulder, Colorado, featuring original artwork and a water resistant design. So water resistant, not waterproof. These ultra light travel organizers give you 30% space savings when packing. So. That's great. I think these are great items. I'm not sure how much they are worth, but they I feel like they're probably at least half the value of the box. The other items, not super thrilled with. Um, I do want to give them the benefit of the doubt because this is their first box, and at the same time, I feel like the first box should really like knock it out of the park. We got the awesome Travel Cube set. I am very happy with those. I'm very excited to use them when we do finally get to travel again. They seem like they would fit really well into a backpack too, just because of the shape. So if it was a glamping situation, those might be great. We got this uh, leather luggage tag. Not my favorite, favorite cute, fine. Not a huge value though, in my opinion. We got this pack this notepad, which I think is a great idea, especially if you don't already have that practice. We got the Airbnb, Airbnb discount, which we're not gonna count. We got the fun little witch bracelet, not a huge value there either, but very cute. Um, it does need a little doctoring for me to actually use it. We got the very nice um, kind of small business happy glamper ornament, and then we got the doTERRA hand sanitizer, which I will definitely be using. So. It's definitely over $49 in value. I don't think it's well, well over. It's still pretty pricey of a box for me to continue on a monthly basis. I wish that this was maybe a seasonal box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you use packing lists, packing cubes, what you think of the other items in here. And other than that, you guys have a fantastic day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if I didn't say that already. And hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.